it's your girl Ashley T. Era. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. What I'm going to be talking about is why I love in cat. I'm really, honestly, I felt like I was just like, everybody was checking on me and stuff. But I was like, oh, look at y'all, yo. Oh. But I feel like some of y'all were just trying to be nosy. Like, it was a lot of people that was texting me like, oh, you got COVID. <laughs> no. Don't speak that on me. But it was, it was cool, though. Y'all was really concerned and that really, you know, that's why I love NCAT. Like, I love the people at NCAT because it's just like, the connections you build over the roof, like, it's like no other. Whatever I say out through this video, this is only my opinion, so y'all opinion matters too, you know, but my opinion matters as well. So I'm just speaking about my opinion of how I experienced my first year at NCAT. And, well, not really a year because I didn't study that long. Let's get right into no video. Like, I left a and because of medical reasons. No, I did not have COVID, but um, I ended up staying in a dorm called Preeminent Point. I made sure y'all the video of me walking into my apartment and just like, what the heck? Like, I was so mad when I walked into my apartment and saw my apartment because I was just like, what is this? Like, no, no offense to anybody, but it's just like, we paying all this money and we get this so i was like okay like when i walked in there i literally was about to like bust in tears i was about to get emotional because i was just like i can't do this like i can't do this but i was two hours away from home almost three hours away from home so i was like girl toughen it up and get through this okay so we searched the house and whatever um the apartment or whatever so i had mind you i have three other roommates nobody's there but me my nails, what the heck? Anyways, nobody's there but me. One of my other roommates was on the way there, so I had went ahead and record and showed her what it looked like. She was like, oh my God, but it was just a lot going on. So we ended up searching the um, apartment or whatever because of course before I moved any of my stuff in there, I was gonna clean everything, like walls and everything. So I go like by my door because my door is like the first door. In the video, you will see where my door is and where the kitchen is and stuff like that. So when I go in there, I see stuff on the wall. Like it's just like, I'm gonna post a video of that too so y'all can see that or whatever. When I go in there, I see a little place on the wall that look kind of like mold. And I'm like, what's this? Why? Like, who are you? And so we took it to the man, he was just like, there's nothing wrong. There's that's not mold. It's just uh, condensation from the vents and stuff from the um, air condition or whatever. Because I'm right there. My room is like right there by the air condition thing or whatever. So he was just like, "Oh, it's just condensation and stuff like that." Mind you, it's not only in my room. It was in my room, and I had a bathroom in my room. So it was in my room. It was a little bit under, like on the corner of the. Um, bathroom it was on the corner of the bathroom like door or whatever then it was in the kitchen like all under the like under the sink and everything and over there in the corner or whatever like i said i'm posting i'm gonna give you videos okay so i don't think that i'm lying to y'all because i have no reason to lie like i have no reason to lie at all i really love being at NK. i'm not even gonna count so yeah so we take those pictures down and he was like oh it's not you know it's not mold or whatever blah 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 okay cool my mom was like if it's mold her allergies are going to know because i'm allergic to mold it's going to show like she gonna know if it's mold or not so i thought nothing of it like we went back he came in spray uh, spray painted over the mold or whatever i guess to give us the color of the wall back because it was condensation so he did that or whatever and you know i was just like okay whatever i was in there cleaning everything and i was moving in basically getting all my stuff in in the room or whatever and setting it up how i wanted it whatever so 
after we get settled in or whatever, um, my parents leave or whatever, and my other roommate is finally there, so I was in there talking to her or whatever. Like, it was fine. Like, I was okay. I was getting okay with it. Then, I started seeing, like, after a couple of days passed by, mind you, I did not unpack my clothes. I didn't unpack my shoes. They were still in totes, like, under my bed. Like, I was just like, I don't, I don't know why I feel like this, but I don't feel... I really didn't feel like I was going to be there that long. And I was just like, why did I feel this way? Like, my other roommate, she had already put her clothes in her closet, girl. Like, she was, you know, her stuff was together. And the only thing was together in my room was my room, like, my decorations and stuff. But my clothes and stuff, that won't get put up. Like, I just didn't feel comfortable. And I mean, also, mind you, my dressers that they gave me, most of the dresses that was in the whole complex, they were messed up. So I was just like, yep, my, my clothes not going in there. Like, um, the, my roommate that I was close, really close to, she, you know, kind of made me feel comfortable with being there and stuff like that because I wanted to go back home. But when she got there and we started communicating and stuff like that, it was just, you know, fine. And so days go by and I go in the bathroom, like I'm taking showers and stuff like that. First thing that happened within two days of me being there, my bathtub get stops up. So you know that's a plumbing issue or whatever. So I had to get them to come fix it. Like when I say it was stop, like it was stop. I'm like, what the heck? Like it's just water. Plus, we had white tile floors. Everybody that stayed in preeminent point had the regular the other um like the wood type floors. We were the only one that had tile floors that I that we really know of. And that crap really, it made me think like, dang, did y'all really even clean this? Like, did y'all clean this? And I know it was a lot of other um, apartment complex that A&T had or whatever that wasn't really good, but I'm thankful that we didn't get that bad. But, it was bad enough. Like, if I would have walked into what some people walked in at Block 43, I would have been like, what the heck? Like, I would have I would have never took none of my stuff out. Like, I, I really wouldn't have. It would have made me mad. And it would have made me emotional, too, because I'm emotional. But, so, yeah. So, I go in there. Um, he come and fix the thing or whatever. But I, I see myself, like, I see, I start to see bumps come on my face. Like, it was like... Normally, like, when I have allergies and stuff, like, I get bumps on my face. Honestly, when that happened, I really wasn't thinking. Because I just took an allergy pill, and I was just like, oh, well, you know, it'll go over. I thought it was just because I was in a new environment or whatever. Maybe it's just, you know, something that broke me out or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I was in the heat too much or something. So I didn't really think of it. But I wish I would have thought about it because I would have, like, well, come pick me up now. Because I hate it got as far as it did. But let me continue so y'all know what happened. That was like the third day. Mind you, I only stayed there six days. It was like the third day of me being there. Then the next day, that's the next night or whatever, I saw more bumps on my face. It's like, I'm like, what's going on? I also started seeing like, I had eczema when I was younger. I don't have it now. But like if I get too hot or... I start getting like bad allergies or whatever. I start getting like my, it start to flare up a little bit more. Like it's not really bad, but you could see like little, like little bumps like forming up on your arm or whatever. And that started to happen. So at this point, I just took another allergy pill. I'm still not worried about it. I'm like, okay, like, can y'all stop? Like, I'm just like, maybe it'll, you know, work itself out later on. So that was the fourth night. I couldn't really sleep at night and I'm like what's going on and I had talked to my mama or whatever and I was like I don't know what's going on like I need to go home I was like I don't know why I need to go home but I need to go home and she called my spiritual uh like my spiritual grandmother or whatever and she was just like if you feel that you need to go home, you know what's best for you. And it's not, I didn't even want to go home. This is the thing. I did not want to go home at all. Like, 
I wanted to stay at NCAT. Like, who don't want to stay at a &T? Like, and I didn't want to leave my roommate that I was close with. Like, we was really close. And we still close now, but, you know. Didn't want to leave my roommate and the girl that stayed above me or whatever. And those are my babies. Like, I love them. They're not really my babies. I'm really like, well, yeah, whatever. Like, we just really, really close. Like, I'm glad I met them or whatever. Yeah, so I was just like, I gotta leave. Like, I, I just feel like I have to leave. Like, I feel like I gotta go. And I feel like that was the spiritual side of me. Like, you're, like you, you gotta go. In the midst of me having to go, I didn't know I was gonna get sick that night. I started losing my voice. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, we not lose our voice. Like, I was just like, oh my God. Why? I don't know. I wasn't thinking nothing of it. I still was like, I just lost my voice. Mom was like, what's wrong? I, I said, I don't know, I just lost my voice. My dad called me, what's wrong? I just lost my voice. Didn't know at all that I was freaking about to have an asthma attack. So, that night I went to sleep and my mama was like, oh, okay, I'm coming to get you in the morning or whatever, just pack your stuff up. I wasn't gonna pack my stuff up until she told me she was on the way cause she was two hours away. So I'm like, I'm not about to pack all this stuff up. I, mean, I waited till she was like an hour away, but I was like, I'll wait. Cause all I gotta do is put the decor stuff you know, the decorations and stuff in the tote or whatever. And that's why I was just waiting. So, that night or whatever, when I went to sleep, you know, I'm thinking I lost my voice. And well, maybe when I wake up, you know, it'll be gone. So, when I went to sleep, I woke up in the middle of the night, gasping for air. So, Immediately, I run to the bathroom, and my mama gave me this math wash. It's like the yellow math wash, and it has like ginger in it and something I can't remember. Um, went to the bathroom, brushed my, immediately brushed my teeth, I don't know. Immediately brushed my teeth, used that, that uh, mouth wash, and took a, I didn't even remember I took an allergy pill. Took an allergy pill, but at the same time, I'm scared. Like, I'm like, what's going on with my body? Like, what's going on? I got there or whatever, and I came back and laid down. When I laid back down, I couldn't go to sleep. I kept coughing. I never had an asthma attack ever in my life. And so I never really knew what that felt like. So I just kept coughing, and I felt really hot. Like, I felt, I don't know, I just... I was just coughing and I was just laying there and I, I was zombied out. Like when I say zombied out, I mean zombied out. So when mama told me, she texted me. No, I think she called me to check on me and make sure I was okay. And then she texted me and told me she was on the way. Whatever, I think this was about eight o'clock. So she got there at about like 10, whatever. When she, when I tell y'all, when I was getting the stuff to put in the box or whatever, I could have asked help for my roommates. I didn't want them to know really that I was leaving because I know they didn't want me to leave. And I didn't want to leave and I didn't want to have that emotional side either because I was already upset that I had to leave. It was just a lot going on in my head and I was just fighting myself in the midst of me trying to live. So when I was putting all my stuff in totes and stuff, when I tell you, I was just throwing that crap in the freaking totes. Like I was just like, I don't even care. I did everything that I could, literally like putting this stuff up, like getting all the stuff together so she wouldn't have to come to the house and have to put it up and she could just put everything in the trunk. That was my, that was what I really wanted to do so we could just go ahead and leave and go to the leasing office and you know, get the claims, whatever. I put up majority of everything though, like I really did, um, but she still had to come and get like the big stuff. And all the only reason is because when, I started picking up stuff and putting it into the totes or whatever. I started getting hot again. And I started getting like I just wanted to lay down. And I couldn't really, I still couldn't breathe. I was going to tell mama to bring the breathing treatment, but she was already gone from the house. And I didn't want to scare her because I didn't want anything to happen like while she was traveling there. You know, how you can overthink when you're traveling. 
when you driving and stuff like that. I didn't want that to happen. Like, I didn't want that. So I was just like, I'm just going to, you know, try to fight it as much as I can and just leave it at that. When she got there, she brought my two oldest, well, they younger than me, but they the oldest ones that's younger to help me. And my uncle came and got some stuff too because I had tons of stuff. And he um, came and helped me and got some stuff or whatever. And I was really feeling now about leaving. Like, I was just like, I was so excited to come. I got all this stuff. Like, I really was excited. But things happened. And one thing my uncle told me that really stuck to me was, you know, don't worry about what everybody else think about why you left or why you didn't stay. You know, why you couldn't stay and stuff like that. He said, you don't owe anybody anything or whatever. And it's not, I've never been the type of person that really thought, like, cared about what other people thought of me or whatever, but I felt like I failed myself at that point. I'm just like, what the heck? Like, but I can't do that because it's just like, this is not your fault. Like, it's not. Anyways, I'm zombied out or whatever. Like, when I say zombied out, I don't mean, I'm like... Like, I'm zoning out. Like, I'm walking and stuff, but I'm still getting tired really easy. I'm like, what's going on? So, me and my mama, we, um, while they still packing up stuff or whatever, me and my mama, we went to the leasing office or whatever. I could not stay in there, but we went to the leasing office at Sebastian Village. If y'all stay there, y'all know what that is. We went there or whatever and showed the guy, the, the manager, the picture or whatever and he was like oh yeah that's mold we told you that when we first got here so we retook pictures again and showed it to him what they did and everything he was like yeah that's mold it's time to stop okay no more so what really happened was that move-in day they didn't want to change anything because they probably didn't have any more rooms uh, available because everybody was complaining about stuff I know Block 43 had it hard or whatever, but everybody was complaining about stuff, so they probably didn't have any more. That's fine and all good, but putting a, a student in danger when you we told you, we told you that, you know, they had allergies towards that and you just forced them in there. So that made me really think, that, that made me really think down on a and like management, period. They did refund us my amount for my housing or whatever or whatnot, but um, yeah, that was just wrong. And I mean, like, if it's just a student like this, what if my parents live in freaking California? That's all I'm thinking about. Like, what if they really stayed in California and they couldn't get to me? Because the doctors, when I went to the doctor, uh, well, when I got home, or whatever I was feeling sick I still felt sick my mama went and bought me all this medication to take I was taking like seven different medications and trying to like build my immune system and stuff back up and I'm just like it's not working so in the midst of that I was coughing really bad I couldn't sleep at all I was taking um my all like every day like whenever i need it honestly so it was more than like i know it was more than once a day um so it was a big transition um it was a very depressing experience and it's something i don't want to experience ever again and i don't wish on anybody but i ended up going to the doctor because i just you know i felt like i could get better at home but i wanted to go to the doctor to check and make sure i didn't have anything I went there and they tested me for strep throat um, because um, I'm allergic to mold. So basically, when molds get mold get into your system or whatever, it, it's bacteria in your system. They tested me for strep throat or whatever, and I was positive for strep throat. And that's basically just saying I have bacteria in my throat or whatever. So just kind of like a like. Falling out of line of, it was the mold and you, you know, you had allergic reaction and now you have to clean out the bacteria that's in, within you. So I had to take some amoxicillin, I think that's what it's called, amoxicillin or something, I don't know. I had to take some medicine. 
to clean out the bacteria in my system or whatever. But they say if I would have stayed any longer, it would have went into my lungs and I would have had um, pneumonia. And honestly, if I felt worse than what I felt now, I would have not want to be here at all. Because I couldn't imagine having to really fight for my life basically because when when bacteria is in your lungs or something get in your lungs period it's hard like and you already have asthma so it's like it's hard for your body to get back to where it was and you really have to like really just push and push everything was clear so that's how you knew i was fine it was just like my allergies or whatever so yes it was a very depressing moment and that's something i don't want to go back to but i honestly learned from really the situation that I was in and it's really an eye opener to my health and everything else because I really wasn't looking at it like that but when I had that it made me really look at like dang girl you need to stay on top of your stuff and you know stuff like that like I never used an inhaler a day in my life but with my allergies messing up having like you know a diagnose of asthma or whatever it those two does not mix at all so I know that now and that's what caused my reaction to be the way that it was. Um, a lot of people want to know am I better now and stuff like that. Oh, when I left the doctor's office, I came home and I took some medicine or whatever and I ended up, I was coughing so much that I made myself throw up and I ended up making, I ended up asking my mama, I was like, am I dying? Like, I really felt like I was, this was my last day. Like, I didn't feel like I was going to wake up. And it caused me to not want to sleep. I was here one day, and I think my mama had went to work. Everybody was at work, because I felt like I was okay. And I um, was asleep, and I, um, I woke up, and I felt like I wasn't breathing when I was asleep. And it scared me, like, really, really bad. Um, it's just something that you, it's just something... That should not be played with at all. Like, if you have health, like, if you have allergies, period, and you're moving into a new environment or whatever, or a new surrounding, just make sure you look before entering into anything. I don't care if it's the biggest adventure in your life. Please check first. Because your health is worth anything. Because without your health being up, you would not be living at all. It was a sad moment. I'm not going to count. It just made me think about my life a little differently. It made me really appreciate a lot a lot of things more too. Even though I'm I really appreciate everything that's in my life, but some people that's in your life, like it made me really think about it. It made me really accept them. Honestly. So I really get emotional because it's like, dang, I really could have died. Like if I would have stayed any longer, I honestly would have been close to death. And I don't know what in me made me want to go home or made me feel like I needed to go home. But I just knew it was time for me to go home. I didn't know what was going to happen. And literally, like, seven hours later, that happened. And honestly, if I didn't take the allergy pill, I don't know what would have happened. And that Listerine, that Listerine was what, the only thing that was letting me be able to talk because I couldn't talk at all, honestly. So, yes, I really appreciate everybody that was really concerned about me. Like, that really made me, that really made me feel special at that time of moment because I really needed it. Like, I mean, it was tons of people. Like, I know I got, like, 500 DMs about people asking me, hoping that I'll be okay and stuff like that, like. I really appreciate that. Like, I do not take that for granted because not many people will really, you know, care. But for me, for y'all seeing fit to even, you know, say anything to me, that really meant, that really meant a lot to me. Um, I know a lot of people I really didn't respond to. And that's because, honestly, I wasn't really on my phone. Like, when I posted, that was really me on my phone. Like, I was still zoning out until... I was zombied out until like a week later, so it was kind of hard, honestly, 
not being able to do anything, not being able, not really having an appetite. And a lot of people want to know, like, am I okay now? For the most part, I'm doing okay, but um, I still have a little bit of problems that probably is going to take a little while for it to work itself out. I still have like coughing spells sometimes like when I get really hot and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's worse than what it was before I had this incident. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to pace myself back into it and trying to get back to normal. But um, I still have problems like still have problems with like shortness of breath, um, coughing. Throughout this whole video, I've been drinking water. Y'all don't see that because I'm cutting it out. But yeah, I don't really talk that. I mean, I talk now. You know, I talk or whatever. But I still have problems. And it sucks. But it's cool. Um, yeah, but I have still been under like breathing treatments and stuff. Um, trying to get my immune system back or respiratory system. Trying to get my pipe to, I guess, expand more so I can get more air in and stuff. So I can breathe properly. But. It's like a working process, honestly. Some days I'm depressed, like, about it, like, all the time. And my mom is always there, supportive, like, girl, you okay? At least you living, like, but to know that someone's out there doing worse than what I am, and it could have took me six months to even be able to talk to y'all or, you know, be able to breathe properly, on, even on my own, without having a machine. That's a blessing. I really thank God for allowing me to go through this. So, yeah. Of course, I wanted to finish. Of course. But other things happen. So, you know, you live and you learn. You don't look back. You just keep going forward. And, I mean, of course, I miss being home with my family. But I wanted to try something different as well. But, of course, God has other plans for me. So, I have to accept that and be okay with it. And I know a lot of people will look at me like, dang, you didn't even stay in school for two months or you didn't even stay in school for a week or two weeks or whatever. But I really don't care what you got to say, honestly. And it's nothing that I could do about it. So why would I argue with you when you don't even, when you're watching me, basically, it's showing me that you're watching me. And that's cool. Like, I, I said, that's fine continue to watch me i want you to that's what i want you to do and i mean there's negativity with everything that has purpose there's always going to be negativity there's always going to be somebody trying to pull you down and i'm just a different girl and i had to accept that and everything's not going to go like a normal person would do i have a set plan that he wants me to be on and he keep pulling me and he keep telling me you know so now I'm just going to follow whatever he wants me to do, and I'm going to do it. A lot of people look at me like, oh, you got it all together and stuff like that. I don't. I'm probably just as lost as you. I just, you know, do things a little differently. And I'm really blessed, honestly. Because God has saved me from a lot of stuff that I really didn't see myself coming out of. So, being almost to the end... Like, be, feeling like you're almost done with life, almost losing your life, and your view of life will be so much different. So, that's it for today. Um, that's why I love MCAT. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll be returning next semester. I don't know yet. Um, but right now, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because, um, uh, honestly, I just hate replaying what happened to me. And I just need to make sure that I'm good. And physically, mentally, spiritually, I need to make sure that I'm good before going around everything else. And then with COVID being out there, like, and with my sickness being the way it is, my health being the way it is, I don't want to uh, risk anything. You know that I really don't have to. So, yeah. But um, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is really... A video that really has been requested because a lot of people have been asking me and I just told them I was going to make a video because I didn't feel like keep typing the same thing over and over to 500 people. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because like I told y'all, I'm coming. I'm coming back, period, okay? Like, 
I really never been consistent on YouTube, but I'm really going to be consistent because I feel like I really can go somewhere with this. And not just for money or whatever, because that's not my concern right now. It's really just to help others, to let people see my life, see who I am. That's really what I'm doing YouTube for. Like, And I like talking to myself, talking to the camera, looking at myself. So that's what I'm wanting. And a lot of, I do a lot of stuff, and I feel like, girl, you got all these talents. Go ahead and put them out. So that's one of other things. That's another reason why I'm doing YouTube as well. Not for the money. That's really not. Like I said, it's not my motive. Like I'm not looking at, oh, I can make this much, or I can do this. No, heck no. Because if you had that mindset, you really won't go nowhere with YouTube. And only because it's slow. Like it goes slow. Like sometimes you will be up, and sometimes you only have like 20 views or you know so it just varies so i want to be more consistent but i have two other videos out i did my own individual lashes they're off right now but i'm gonna do some more i did my own individual lashes and my vacation to gatlinburg tennessee like it was so fun but um go watch the videos like i said i hope you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel okay because why not why why aren't you but yeah so that's really it for this video i hope you guys like this video i'm sad i live in cat because so many people text me like are you on campus like i was so upset but my health is first like my health is what matters first because without my health being good i won't be here so i just you know thankful for the people that i did impact like the you know the few people that i did impact that really shows me, you know, that God has my life. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.